I saw the American flag. It came down from heaven, and the angel holding the flag drove it into the ground of the Texas soil. The Lord said, despite many things you have seen and will see, Texas will be known as the prosperous America, not altered or destroyed, blessed to be a blessing and called to carry the torch of truth, reformation, and revival. The angel was holding the Word of God, the American Constitution, and the Texas Constitution in his right hand. It's protected here, said the angel of the Lord. I had a strong sense that the prayers of the saints were building a wall of protection around this state and that the plans of the enemy were being destroyed at every turn. I heard the Lord say, keep calling the prayer warriors. Keep calling the prayer warriors across the land. Keep praying, keep praying, keep gathering and sounding the alarm. The victory is yours. I saw another flag drive into the soil of Texas. It was the flag of Israel. The churches and Christian communities in Texas continued to pray, protect and love the nation of Israel. The commanded blessing grew with the love displayed for Israel. The last flag driven into the soil of Texas was the Christian flag. The Christian flag was massive. Suddenly I saw a massive outpouring of God's Spirit hitting Texas like a flood, affecting all spheres of influence in the great state. The Lord said, this state is great because I have made it great. Great in prayer, great in my love, great in my mercy, and great in the fear and admonition of the Lord. The flood of revival will cleanse the great state of Texas. Righteousness in the school systems, righteousness in the business sectors, righteousness in the political scene, righteousness in the Texas colleges, righteousness in the churches across Texas, righteousness in the five-fold ministry, a huge emergence of apostles, prophets, pastors, evangelists, and teachers are coming up and out of Texas to transform this nation. Keep praying. I heard the voice of the Lord say with authority, keep praying. I am hearing and answering your prayers. I will use Texas as a glory hub, a glory hub of revival and breakthrough. Many missionaries will leave Texas to go, pray, and establish the kingdom of God in other parts of this nation. I see thousands of tents in Texas, not homeless tents, revival tents. The glory of the Lord is transforming Texas through obedient men and women using prayer hubs and glory tents. The Texas tent revivals will be written about all over the world. Watch for the Texas tent revivals. They're coming soon. Texas will be an epicenter of God's glory. When you see the Texas tent revivals, the glory will spread across America like wildfire. Watch and pray. Watch and pray.